What's up, y'all? I'm out here at the range today having some fun. The clouds have kept me covered up all day, but I've stayed dry, thankfully. Been doing a lot of good testing out here, and this one right here should be a very interesting 45 Colt test. So we got our jelly contraption set up with the Chrono and two blocks of gel here. Now, I've done a couple of tests in this block, so we got a few tracks. I'll leave some links for those if you hadn't seen them, but I should have plenty of room up in this front area to get these rounds in it for this one and see what we got going on. Now, as you can see, we're sticking with the heavy clothing barrier on this one with the one layer of denim one layer of fleece and two layers of a cotton t-shirt material now what we're checking out here like i said is some 45 colt ammo it's from gold country ammo this is their 250 grain wolverine round is what they call these things check that out it's very very neat looking as far as the design of the projectile really curious to see what these do honestly when i seen them and they had a name like wolverine how could i not pick these up so very very curious to see what these do i don't expect them to be anything real crazy because i was told they're not loaded real hot you know so they're safe in pretty much whatever you want to run them in but hopefully they'll perform well enough to get them to expand anyway now as far as the tools we're using we're definitely holding some cord out here today i got a couple different barrel lengths one of them is the taurus judge with the six inch barrel and then the other one is an 18 inch barreled circuit judge so both of them revolver so we will definitely have some gas loss from the uh cylinder gap and things like that but this is what we're working with so don't fret just sit back and enjoy the show but like i said hopefully these things have got enough sauce that they will expand and don't just go slinging through boat blocks of gel but let me get all this stuff set up and let's check them out all right, y'all, let's get us some speeds on these things. I'm going to start with this six and a half inch judge first. I believe I was saying six inch earlier. It's just out of habit. But this is actually technically a six and a half inch barrel on this one. So we're going to start with this one first. I'm going to do a three round average from each one of them. Let's see what these things feel like. Yeah, that felt a little weak. 449. I don't know if that's correct. Let me try these other two. 437 i think these are correct these things feel super weak y'all and 494 i mean that stuff is super weak that's hard for me to believe that's even correct but let me go check this average and i'm gonna check a few things out all right so the three round average on that was only 460 feet per second so um now granted i knew these rounds were gonna be weak i was told that from the start uh but i didn't know they were gonna be that weak i'm gonna test a couple rounds of nine through here also just to make sure my chrono ain't acting crazy and then i'll get it reset and i'll either try that circuit judge or if i find something crazy we'll redo this one all right y'all apparently those speeds are accurate i tried my nine over the chrono i tried some more 45 colt ball rounds and everything reading fine it's all reading fine i tried that same ammo here this this wolverine stuff at different lengths they all read so i guess that just is what it is so let's see what it does out this 18 inch circuit judge uh, honestly with these speeds i don't have much faith in this ammo doing anything good but let's check the speeds on this circuit judge 686 whoo that was that sounded terrible that was an error too 678 let me go get one more round all right let's try to get this last one through there i can tell you something else too there's tons of unburnt powder from this stuff i mean just all over it looks like a beach out there on top of the table so let's get this last round see if we can get it to read that one sounded weak too, 620. Let's go down there and check this average. All right, so that time our three round average was 661 feet per second. And if you remember, I had the six and a half inch judge. It was 460, so you're talking about 201 feet per second faster from the 18 inch, which, I mean, it's a vast difference in barrel length, so, so that makes sense. So that should be a definite difference in the gel. Well, let me get this reset, and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's how slow can you go jelly time. I'm gonna put one round of each barrel length down into the gel. We're gonna start out with this six and a half inch judge first. I'm just gonna tell you, I don't see anything good coming out of either one of these barrel lengths. I just don't see it. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe these things are some super powered, low velocity expanders. Let's see what we get here, y'all. All right, I put that exactly where I had to mark at. Let me go down there and see what happened.
All right, we got about what I expected to see down there, a whole bunch of nothing really. So let's try this 18 inch circuit, Judge. Honestly, I don't think this stuff, this right here is gonna expand it either. I just really don't, but hopefully I'm wrong. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna try to go up under this one. All right, I definitely went up under it. I just hope I stayed far enough away. Let's go see what we got. All right, y'all, that one down there was perfectly placed, but I'm just going to tell you right now, this ammo, I, I mean, I, I'm just, I'm ready to say this ammo's terrible. That thing felt weak. It sounded weak. I think this ammo is loaded bad. This one out of the 18-inch barrel didn't even go as far as the one out of the six and a half, and neither one of them expanded. So something ain't jiving here. I'm going to try another one out of this 18-inch just because, like, just because it don't make no sense, y'all. Let's see what happens. I don't expect any expansion, but I just want to see what happens. All right, that one should be another good one. Let's go down there and check these things out. All right, y'all, let's take a look at this pitiful stuff. First off, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I mean, it's, that's powder. The, the table is just covered with powder. I mean, look at all that powder. That's just barely what I can stick to my hand. It's just covered both sides at the end. The whole entire table is covered with unburnt powder. But anyway, let's look at what these things did. So the one right here, this little old small pencil line, that's the one from the six and a half inch judge. You can see it comes in very, very skinny. You got an area of disruption here. Here, but I would bet anything that's where it tumbled around backwards because it is sitting backwards so you had a tumble here more than likely into the second block and there it is sitting backwards down there completely unexpanded no expansion at all I can't tell if it's clogged yet but I can see that it drug quite a bit of material through it throughout the track now the first one I sent out of the 18 inch circuit judge that's this one right here up under that little pencil line so definitely a lot more disruption but I would be willing to bet that that's because this one actually tumbled immediately. That area right there is more than likely where it tumbled around backwards. Same story, but it stops way, way short. No kind of expansion and super short where it stopped on this one. Drug a lot of material with it also. And this one felt weak. It felt and sounded weak when I ran it, which is why I did the second one out of the circuit judge. And it's down here at the very bottom. Same story. Nothing but a little old pencil line of disruption. And then right here, you get a big and bigger area pretty much guaranteed that's where it tumbled around backwards kept on going carrying a bunch of material cloth with it into the second block again and it actually went the furthest it's sitting down here backwards again no expansion whatsoever but let's measure the penetration on them so the one out of the six and a half inch is at 22 inches of penetration the first one from the 18 inch stopped at 14 inches and then the last one from the 18 inch stopped at 24 inches so I would say if these don't tumble around backwards, they're all going out the end of the block. Unless it's a weak load, maybe that one wasn't a weak load, but it sure sounded and felt very, very weak. Just a really quick look from above just to show you how small those tracks are. Tiny, tiny little pencil tracks until you get to where the disruption is, where they turned around backwards. And then this one here, like I say, completely backwards no expansion that one there same story backwards no expansion and then that one down there again same story absolutely no expansion and turned around backwards all right y'all let's take a look at these things here these two right here were out of the 18 inch circuit judge this one was out of six and a half inch judge it doesn't really matter because they're all exactly the same there's absolutely no attempt whatsoever at expansion you can see the end of these i mean nothing no kind of mushrooming no kind of deformation absolutely no attempt to expand uh this one with the cloth that was actually the one out of the 18 inch that went furthest so i would say they all clogged up to some extent and then clean their self out but either way i feel pretty confident saying that these things would not expand in bear gel either at least not at these velocities i just personally don't think this stuff right here is it but let's get some measurements on them and see what kind of uh, weights and all we got now i can't see any kind of material loss in the gel but let's weigh them all up here so on this one we've got 244.2 this one here we got 243.2 
244.8 and in this one here 244.2 so all of these are underweight these are claiming to be 250 grain projectiles and you're in the low 240s with this and there's no material in the gel there none at all now as far as expansion there is absolutely none the biggest part of all of these is going to be the base so you got 444, 445, and 442. So like I said, not even so much as an attempt at expansion. So there you go, y'all, the 45 Colt Wolverine rounds. The name definitely does not fit the performance here. These things ought to be called the Fuzzy Bunny rounds because they are just pitiful i mean absolutely pitiful now again i was told that these were loaded light so they would be safe in pretty much anything you ran them in but i'm telling you these things would be safe to run in a nerf blaster as, as weak as they are all right y'all that's a wrap for these 45 colt wolverine rounds and they definitely did not perform how i was hoping they would in my opinion even for a light loaded 45 colt these things are plum pitiful just very inconsistent feeling as far as the power and the speeds on them inconsistencies in the gel no kind of expansion just burnt powder all over the place i don't know what's going on with these rounds but they sure didn't jive out here today i actually bought these things about two years or so ago and if i remember correctly they were pretty expensive at the time but anyway y'all let me know what y'all think about the performance out of these things out here today have y'all ever used any of these have you used some other rounds from gold country ammo let me know what your experience has been if you did enjoy this video make sure you reach down and hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon so hopefully you can get notified when i upload new stuff y'all check out my affiliate links in the video description if you shop through amazon anyway hit that one up down there you'll go straight through amazon like normal from there don't cost you anything extra and anything you buy after that i get a kickback from them towards the channel if you're looking to pick up some fantastic ear pro check out those actual affiliate links they got some big sales going right now and you can save even more money if you click those links instead of going straight through their site i got a bunch of good stuff coming y'all's way so make sure you stay on the lookout for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon